started my business. At that time, Black Caesar was a club of the night, you know. So we used to go to Club Caesar at Circle, Dankwa Circle. And we used to make orders for him, even as students. We'll make orders for him. You pay us and you serve in the, in the disco. And my friends would come and make orders. So I started making money very early. And then I loved, we talked about mentorship. There's a woman, Efor Bamlabi. She runs a school, Maze Day Care Center. And my sister's daughter went there. And I didn't even know her, but I got to the school and it was like a dream I've had because I would love children. So I just wanted to set up a school. I didn't know even how to start it. But when I got to the school, I said, this is what I wanted to do. Who did it before me? <laughs> and secretly, I was admiring her. So I'm telling you, what do you do? The relationship you have with your customers is what will sell you. So you'll be here, you'll be a corporate whatever, you run whatever. If you don't have a good human relation, it won't get anywhere. I entered into politics because of a man who came to look for admission in my school. I have a very big school of about 800 people. And he comes to look for admission. I didn't even know him. I just came out of my house and he was seated. So I went to sit by him, we're chatting. And we talked and talked and he said, these are the kind of people we want in politics. Your heart, the way you talk. And we talked and talked. And it was like he wanted coke. So I asked, they said they don't have coke. So I went in and coke with ice. And he's like, so what are you doing here? I said, oh, I teach. He said, what class? He said, you teach and you are here at this time. I said, oh, I'm a, a class five teacher. I, do, I teach cookery. And I don't have a lesson. That's why I'm sitting here. My lesson is in the afternoon. So we finished that conversation. Then I went home and moved my car from the house. I didn't park on the compound, so I moved out. When he was done with everything, he went to my headmaster and said, can I see the proprietress of the school? And he's like, oh. But she, she said, she's gone out. He said, when I came, they said she wasn't here. So I said, oh, the lady who was sitting, he said, no. I was sitting with the class five teacher. <laughs> he said, who is the class five teacher? The woman sitting there, that is the owner of the school. He said, you don't mean it. She owns the school. He waited for me to come from town. I didn't know he was waiting. So when I got there, he said, Madam, you told me you were a teacher. I said, it doesn't matter. I still teach the children anyway. He said, you own the school. I've never seen anybody like that. I said, this is my business. He continued to push me. Madam, I think you'd be a good politician. And that is how come today I am a politician. I haven't even seen him to talk to him. 